Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Six of One and Half a Dozen of the Other. I am Rachel Lally and I am here with Emmett O'Brien, Greg Clifford and Jeff Finan who is an alpaca this week or a llama or an aubergine, we're not sure. And um, thanks to everyone who's tuned in for the last while and we're loving all your comments on YouTube and Facebook and social media and please do uh, find our Instagram page Give us a like and a subscribe and all of that stuff. So, uh, this week's thought experiment. First of all, I'm going to start by asking you, um, how good are you at accepting blame when you are in the wrong? I'm pretty good. Yeah. I, I just think, take it, own it, and then move forward and learn from it. Yeah. I've got to a place in my life where I'm quite good at it, but uh, it was definitely something I had to become more conscious of and be just a little bit humbler in admitting it. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm at a decent place now. I have always been, I'm going to continue to be immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> I take full responsibility for it too. For being immaculate? Yeah. I mean, I knew that was coming, and it still kind of shocked me. Yeah, yeah. amazing. <laughs> so, right, amazing. I've got a bit of a setup for this one, so you bear with me for a few minutes while I, while I tell the story, okay? So, you're all outside, you're playing heads and bodies, having a great time, and we run out of beer, lads. It's a tragedy. So, you're having a great time. I know if I start playing with the ball, I'm going to get absolutely... Uh, trashed and I'm gonna get injured so I'm like you know what lads you continue the football I'm gonna go to the offy I'm gonna go get some cans so I head off to the lovely drink store here in uh, on, uh, Manor Street and I get there I'm like oh fuck it they have such, they don't have any normal beers right they've got all these hipster stuff so I'm looking at I'm like oh, I don't know they've changed the whole line recently they don't have any of the stuff I'm used to and I'm like, oh man, help me out, right? Like, I have to get some beers for the lads back in the house. And I, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Like, the cans are all fancy. There's like IPAs, there's sours, there's stuff I've never heard of before. So they're good in there, right? So the, so the guy's like, okay, here, I recommend these. They're really good. So he, he gives me a little mix of stuff, a little box. I take them back to the gaff. We're all outside, social distance drinking, and it's great crack. We all open the cans. And they're fucking woeful. They're really, really bad. Like, we try and tell ourselves for the first few minutes that they're, they're maybe all right because we're all kind of doing the Emperor's new clothes kind of job. But, like, eventually we're all, and Emma's like, these are fucking shite. And we're like, yeah, do you know what? Like, they're absolutely atrocious. They don't taste good at all. Okay. Now, in the same week, right, I've also had a lot of trouble with my laptop recently it's been giving me loads of hassle so i go to a store i've asked around i've asked loads of people and they've said you go to this shop they're brilliant in there so i go in i tell them what i want the laptop for i'm gonna do uh, i need to record my podcast on it i need to do my videos I need to work from home all that stuff and they're like right get this one it's brilliant it's deadly you won't have any trouble with it i hand over the money it's a decent load of cash and I bring it home and I realize it just, it's struggling doing what I needed to do. Okay. It's not really what I expected. It's not good. And in the same week, I'm having a terrible week here, lads, right? In the same week, I have to go to the doctor, right? Been having a crap week. Well, a crap couple of months, been in lockdown, not feeling the best. So I go to the doctor, right? And I, I tell him how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling great, a bit low. And he's like, okay, we put you on this medication. Like, I don't know anything about medicine. I'm just I'm taking what the doctor's saying. They're the expert. So go to the pharmacy, get my prescription. And it's, it makes me really aggro, right? So I start getting really, like, really angry. And one day I have an incident outside the house with one of the neighbors. I'll just go for it. 
and uh, and I hit her. And rightfully, rightfully so, I end up in court, right? Now, the question is, how responsible am I for all of those outcomes? You are only responsible for your actions. So, for example, you are not responsible for a computer being shit per se once you have done the research into making sure that it's not a shit computer to start with. So, like, that's that's a part that it's like, it, if you have looked into it, it's out of your control. It's just a shitty laptop that should be good. It's not your responsibility. If you fucking loaf Deirdre from across the road, that's 100% your responsibility. Because you're after I, I took the medicine because the doctor recommended it as the thing that I should take. You still loaf that. Your action. The medication made me do it. No difference. Nah, that's I bullshit. Did. I just that's took bullshit. the advice of the doctor. If I was if I was a judge, I'd give you about five years just by saying it's not your fault. Can I go back to the beers? Yeah. Um, I suppose like uh, you could have kind of said there was an option actually we could have all spoken about and said, "Will I run back down and say, can we change the last six to ten? Mm. That could be an option, you know. I think yeah, as I a main, I probably would have offered that anyway. So I could have maybe." That, like stopped you from loafing Deirdre maybe partly I could have played my part possibly but uh, but anyway the, the main thing oh, I want to say about the beers is sorry Greg sorry Dave I think Rachel probably loafed Deirdre because she came back with the beers and Emma gave, Emma gave her so much abuse which she normally does <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I don't give I don't give Rachel abuse down. I don't give Rachel abuse for getting shit beers it's just me I just get really oh, fucking annoyed the guy in the shop but I suppose this is a thing then you kind of have to just be accountable for how you hold yourself with maybe there was unrealistic expectations of how good the drink was going to, going to be and the laptop. As Emmett said, maybe the research wasn't done and um, maybe he got snared. There's a lot of snides working in shops like that that love well, to ship definitely got snared three times this week in this story anyway. But why the is it different to the medicine that I took? See, the medicine is the big one now. Yeah. And so the, the question that I see that is here is like, are you accountable if you accept advice from other people? Mm. That's the, the crux of the question. So like if, if, you, if you're talking to somebody and they offer you advice and you take it, who's the person who's accountable there? You were. Me? You, well, it's not the person giving you fucking advice, it's you. That's a fucking ridiculous question well, to ask. Well, well, there, there, that's a ridiculous <laughs> question to ask. If that's like me turning around and going, Hitler. I advise you not to shoot a lot of people and then he does it and then I'm like well fucking tell them not to so it's not my fault obviously it's not oh, your fault like, do it <laughs> what if it's somebody you specifically pay to give you advice like a doctor or a therapist or someone what, that what does that have to do with you because they're qualified to tell you what path to take in this situation so yeah, when he gave you a couple of pills, he said to you, look, you're going to get a bit aggressive there. So, like, he's obviously he telling you. He didn't tell me. He may well, not. Then how do you know that I get you aggressive? Because I dex Deirdre across the road. Well, they, they do take time. Pills take, take time to, like, kind of, like, see where it's going to put you, you know what I mean, three or four weeks. But and then like, there's a lot of cases where people go, no, this doesn't agree with me. I've had these side effects and then you've got to shift it, you know. Um, unfortunately, like they're, they're not really yeah. accountable. I mean, I think there is a great deal of accountability. And maybe doctors are giving out pills too readily anyway. Maybe this is an issue as well. How have you been living? Say this hypothetical version of Rachel. How has she been living her life? Has she been eating well? Has she been exercising, meditating, consuming well, good? I'm just taking the advice, Greg, that I'm given. So like, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of facets that get channeled into this one moment. Yeah, but does that matter? Like how, how she lived her life? If she has taken some like advice from from a professional to say like you should if, if you want to get better you take this like at the moment it's a perfect time to explain it i think because like the whole country has been in lockdown for so many months and now suddenly the, the country's opening back up again we believed politicians and like when they said to to uh close down the country and now the country's been opened up and a lot of scientists and a lot of researchers and a lot of like, specialists have said we're opening up the country too quickly. You know, we're uh, accepting what the government has said because it kind of suits us. 
So, like, who's accountable there? If if a second wave comes, um, is it the politicians who have given us the advice that's that's uh, accountable, or is it us who have knowingly kind of with with all of the evidence that's out there gone along with the politicians? Let's just have to get in real fucking deep there, real quick, man. Uh, this is a experiment. The whole thing is. Well, deep. if I, Ari, hold on, hold on. If I give five yokes to a fella on the corner and he takes them an ideas, whose fault is it? His or mine? Well, you haven't advised him. You shouldn't have taken five at the one time. Like if no, you, no, I have advised him. I said, yeah, yeah there, there's a couple of chats. If you there's positioned yourself as an expert and you were saying that you're qualified to dispense this advice and you can help people in some way and that and then you gave them the five pills and we're like you should take these this is a really good idea i'm advising you to take them because i'm a trained i don't know uh sick animal doctor <laughs> a trained sick animal and you need to take the five of them together and uh, but like like, say I get a mortgage from the bank, right? I mean, the, the mortgage... Can I, can I go back to the one about what's going on in the country at the moment? Because I think it's quite relevant, like, that the people are going to go back and go shopping and do all of this because the government has says that it's this way to go, whereas a lot of experts are saying that we shouldn't go that way. Yeah. We shouldn't open the country so, so quickly. We shouldn't go back. Like, we shouldn't be, like, making the phases go through or open up the phases as, as quickly as we are. Yeah, people are doing it because it kind of suits them because we're taking the advice... From, from the government. So if a second wave does come, whose fault is it? Is and it and Jeff, who would you, where, where does the accountability lie for you? On that one, I, I think there's just two ways that you can look at it, but I think the accountability then comes down to both the person and the government. Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think, um, although the government are going to be protected with layers of bureaucracy anyway. Yeah, you know well, I mean? they always are. And the same goes for the medic who's after giving out these pills that are after making Rachel Agro, you know? Well, like, what I'm saying is, like, if we were in a perfect world and we could rewrite those laws, what, what would we make them? Who would be responsible? So, like, say, okay, I'm in lockdown. I'm uh, after putting on, like, two stone because I'm sitting around eating food and drinking all day and uh, not moving around and watching TV. And I decide afterwards, right, I'm going to go, I'm going to get fit, I'm going to go to, like personal trainer and I'm training with them for two weeks and I'm like oh I don't know if I should be doing this like I'm a little bit in pain here and they're like no no work through work through work through and I end up injuring myself really badly well, I've taken their advice are they yeah. responsible or am I responsible because I took their advice I wonder do people probably take out claims on shit like that, do they? Well, yeah, I'm they, not very they accustomed do. to, but I'm, I'd imagine it happens in this claim culture con uh, country that we're, we're living in. But uh, I think it's a bit of both. I don't think it has to be black or white. I think that there's, you know, responsibility is is uh, kind of spans things. Like you choose to um, give advice, and you also choose to accept advice. So, like, like. In America, they have a huge problem with, with opiate culture. You know, I mean, doctors have advised people to take pain medicine and, and giving them higher doses than they, they should have taken. Uh, and they, the doctors have been lobbied by pharmaceutical companies. I think it was Bayer is one of the ones uh, that, that was lobbying uh, doctors over in America to prescribe higher and higher doses of, of opiates. And now they have a huge opiate problem. So in that sense... Like the, in that sense, I, th I think that the uh, responsibility lies with the doctors because you're you're prescribing something that's addictive. So the people who take it don't really know the, the um, really know, know the side effects until it's too late. A bit like what you were saying with with, with the uh, with the pills. You, you you just want whatever it is the issue that you want gone. So you're like, I'm going to a professional. I want this this issue to be gone. Here's a pill. Take it. You'll be fine. And you take it and you deck Deirdre. Uh, so I, did, like, I think the responsibility there is on, on the doctor. But like, and it's the same in America, like with the responsibility. Well, like actually, the doctor, you said yeah. that, that makes me think of like all, all the women in Ireland that were told that they should have these physiotomies and these hysterectomy surgeries that they actually did not need because the doctor. And, and thalidomides, like, the, you know, the thalidomide drug that came out in the, 
was the 70s, which yeah. caused huge mass deformity when people went with uh, morning sickness. Um, that, that was prescribed to them. And, and of course, like when you're in a position of weakness. Sorry, I'm just looking at Emma Sorry, it's just getting larger and more potato like at that angle. No, I'm getting into it. I'm loving Rachel's little feminist moment there now. I'm into it. Go on. Sorry, Jeff. Go on. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I love it now. I love it. I love it. I love it. People have tuned. I'm when you're in pain and you're in a position of like when, when you're weak and you, you don't have your old sense of it about you, of course, you're, you, that's the time when you're most susceptible to taking advice. And that, that's how people, you know, get preyed upon. And that's when the, the responsibility of giving bad advice goes on, on the other person. It's how like cults and stuff are start, started, you know, like that. Somebody is weak and susceptible and, and somebody comes along and gives, you know, come with me and take this personality test and uh, we'll fix all your problems. Of course they're going to jump so, on. So we think your fault? In, can I put in for one moment? I think, Jeff, you are, you are hasty to dismiss the idea of, I was trying to say that every, like how, how are you living your life at the moment and how have you lived your life? Because every moment shapes the person. So sure. maybe going to the medic to get pills was, could have been avoidable if you were living your life in a certain different way. You know what I mean? So okay. where does accountability lie? Do you go to the medic or is it something that happened in school when you were 13 or something? Do you know what I mean? Like how far back on your kind of lineage? So are you saying we should take into account like the vulnerability of the, or the, probably the naivety of the person who's looking for the advice in the first place. Do you know, it's not black and white whatsoever. Maybe you need two opinions or three. So I have to go to three doctors. Yeah, that that I suppose that doesn't make any sense. No, no. No fucking idea. So the beers, the beers, and the laptop wasn't a big enough deal to really be getting annoyed. Well, like the laptop was expensive, Greg. Like I spent you like. Know, you go back. You just go back and you say, "Look, I'm not into this. This isn't running. This is not doing the basic functions that I what, what I asked for." And that's it. They might say no. They might be like, "Well, you know, you had, you had your three. Well, yeah, then I'd love him. I don't love Deirdre. Huh? I'd love your man in the shop. <laughs> I probably would too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, we're very quiet. Oh, I, I told you, I don't know what's going on. Fuck it. I don't know what the crack here is. We are talking about getting cans, and now we're talking about come, come back out with coronavirus and all. It's mad. Like, this episode's mad for me. I'm Let's just go back to the core, Emmett. Go back to the core and build it up from the bottom. If so you do that. something, if you do something, it's your fault. You're not going to blame the person who, you gave, who gave you advice. Have you ever taken advice though from someone and it's been really bad advice? I have. And did you feel like that was your fault then, or did you feel a bit like lied to? No, it was it was my fault. I chose to do it. Well, have you You're never accountable been, for your own actions? Have you never been in a situation where like you've wanted to go further with it, like bring it to court, or you bought something that was crap, or you'd? Can I go back to the coronavirus here? So say uh, say a year down the line, by right? say a year down the line, it comes out that the whole thing was a hoax to see. You're yeah, looking people... for your fucking highlight real moment here with this coronavirus. I have to say, you're looking to get on Dermot and Dave fucking FM talking about this shit now. You're you're waiting for this <laughs> to be well. Go on. You have keep going back to it. No. It's no one's fault that coronavirus happened. But sorry, go on, go on. No, but I'm saying... Agenda. No, but is it not true that we... Like, I'm not... A, like, I'm not an expert on, on viruses or the transmission of viruses. Like, so I, at the moment, I'm listening to the experts, right? Are you? Are you, Emma? Would you say that's fair? Am I listening to the experts? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not a doctor. Well... I'm a doctor I love, but I'm not a normal doctor. So, you know. (laughs) So if they are not correct and you have been living your whole life this time based on their advice, are they not responsible a little bit for for what they... Well, look, I'll tell you. I can only tell you what I'm doing, right? I'll tell you what I'm doing, right? And this this might give me an answer, right? So let me give you a prime example. I'm sure everyone here listening knows I love a point, right? I love a point. I like a point in a pub. I like watching the horse racing or the football, right? Now, they're saying that the pubs would be able to 
horse racing. Yeah, horse racing. They're saying they're supposed to be able to reopen at the end of June as restaurants, right? Let's just say all that kind of goes, right? Grant, I can go in and get a, a ham and cheese toasty, watch the, watch the races, it's back now and have a point, right? But I'm not going to do that because I'm not safe with it and I don't agree that that should happen. So it's not going to happen for me. So in my eyes, the best Why? way I can explain you told it. that. Which, well, they're saying that it's safe to go back Who's in because they're reopening it. Who's but I'm saying, I'm saying that I'm not our loop. Why, though? Just using my own cop on. Like, I don't think you can get rid of a virus in fucking three weeks. If we're talking about the coronavirus in here. Now, look, I could, and this is the thing, I could be wrong, and the doctors could be right, and everything could be all right, and that's grand. And if that's the case, grand, I'm after missing a month, I tell me life. But I wouldn't go out and then get it and then blame the doctors because I chose to go and I, I, I chose to do and put myself in that position that's just the way I, that's the best way I could do it would you go shopping then recently I'm doing it online shopping man and then when I get the shopping in I'm washing the bajays out of it and putting it up on the, on the line I'm not doing it like because it's mine you're washing on the line <laughs> yeah I have a line out the back yeah what like your groceries Tell me, what, what are you talking but, about? But Emmett, there's, there's inconsistencies in what you're saying. Because if you trusted the authorities and, and, and the medics now, and what, what, what's being said, the experts, but if, they're saying it's okay, but if they're saying it's okay to go back into these quarters and these arenas, well then, there's an inconsistency in your faith. Well, no inconsistency in what I'm saying, pal. There's no there inconsistency. Is. How? Go on, explain it. Logically. If, no, so go on. Moment, no, give me your logic. Give me a logic on. Go so on. at the moment, if you give me a moment. So at the moment, you're living a certain way. You've restricted your engagements with the world and people. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah and why did sense. you do that? Why did you do that? Because it's a virus killing people. Because you were giving I advice. was quarantining before quarantine, before lockdown happened. That's I was a sub, three weeks sub plot and a sub point. Just the reason, why, why were you doing it in the first point, or in the first place? Authorities and experts gave information, yeah? Gave me information, not suggestions. The answer you're looking for is yes. So let's move on. And <laughs> this week is spicy. Spicy, very but, spicy. But the answer is yes. That, that you you are living this way because it's of authorities and experts and advice, yeah. But it's not like no, no. It's not. It's not as simple as that. It's not. It's not as simple as that. I didn't get. I didn't stick on RT and news and hear a voice from someone saying, "Oh, we should lock down." And so I said, "Right, I'm going to lock down." Some information from scientists and authorities. Gave me gave me enough to, enough information to form my own opinion, but I didn't do it because a doctor said that you should do it, and that's proven by the fact that I was in in lockdown in my house three weeks off work before lockdown came into place. So I took suggestion, I I took my own advice from information given long before authorities told me to do it. Okay, and then but moving on from that. If, you, if we're being told that we can engage in the world again, things are opening up, but you doubt that, and that means that you don't have faith in the information from the people that gave it in the first place. Not at all. I have information. I have, uh, I have trust in the information of the multiple scientists, the multiple medical professions. In my opinion, Tony Hewlett and the CMO himself, who are saying that it's too early, and I'm agreeing with them. So I'm not taking information from politicians, I'm taking information from scientists, and I'm taking information from medical officers who are agreeing that it's too early to open up, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with Evan on this one. I'm, I, I think that if, uh, if you are going to take responsibility for decisions that you make, that, like take them from a, a multitude of sources and get, you know, and see kind of both sides so where does that make with the I mean, On a personal oh, level, I'm not mad to look yes, back into the news or anything. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, like on I, a personal level, I'm actually quite enjoying. Three doctors every time we need medicine. Yeah, I, th I think when it comes to to a doctor, it's it's a personal. Was there kind of, it's doctors and scientists that that Emma said he's listening to in terms of like coronavirus? Well, I've gone to the doctor. I've got my medication. Let's say it's birth control. Loads of women have loads of mad. Uh, side effects and mood changes and all sorts with with their birth control and I, I it makes me really I don't know really upset or sad or angry or whatever anyway I've decked Deirdre across the road or if I've set, upset her in some way and um and I end up in serious trouble because of it 
but I took the advice from the doctor, same as you all have with coronavirus. So to what extent am I responsible for the outcome? I, I think that like when you're going to a doctor, I don't know about you, but it, like it is a relationship that you have. So it's sometimes it's something that like a family relationship that you I know, sure. so it's, uh, I've only moved to Dublin recently, so it's just the job. But then, but then it becomes, then, and that's how relationships then are formed. So if you go to somebody and something is dreadful, like, like Greg was saying earlier on with the cans or, or the, the laptop, then you'd be going like, well, I, I, I took your advice, it, it didn't work, I'm going to take more responsibility now, bring it back to you and then go again. Yeah, well, I can't I do that with medication, I've just died Deirdre and I have to go to court for yourself. I think, the, I think the fact that you let you get, get yourself to that point maybe the accountability does lie with yourself. No one made you necessarily punch her at that moment. Maybe the coping mechanisms weren't there to begin with. The medication, Greg, just, it just made me do it. Yeah. I don't, it, it won't that, hold up. That is it. it, it but it won't hold up. And I'm sure there's been a lot of people in that genuine position. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about those people that like go, uh, probably off topic, but they're like, they go sleep. They do mad stuff in their sleep. Oh, Jesus, yeah. And like, are they responsible for their actions? Stepbrothers, Emma. Remember Stepbrothers when the two lads got up in the middle of the night and then threw all the stuff around the house? No, I know, I know, I know what you mean. But uh, not the, I mean, like, that's their subconscious actions as a, like, uh, that's a, in my opinion, that's a very different question to getting, like, advice from a, like, I'm still on this doctor. I think it, there's a lot of variations that have to happen with the doctor. Like, is the doctor telling you the side effects of it or did you research the side effects of it? I think, like, doing shit in your sleep is just, you're not awake, so you're not in control of your actions. But what if you're Whereas, under the influence of, of medication? Is that not the same? Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of variations with it. Like, uh, has the doctor told you about the side effects? If not, have you researched about the side effects before taking them in? I don't think it's... I, don't, I think that's a... With all due respect, I don't think that's the best analogy because that's an analogy where there's so many different things taken into account that it's not it's not black or white. It's not either you're responsible or someone else is responsible. It's actually a snowball effect. So a lack of responsibility on the doctor's part fell into your own lack of responsibility. They're very different analogies. Whereas like if you're a sleeper... So you're saying no matter what, like I'm responsible for, for Jack and Deirdre? Oh, you think you're responsible for hitting a woman? Yeah. Yeah. I think the doctor, at the same time, I think the doctor is responsible for not telling you that a side effect of these tablets would have been aggression because if he had told you, you might not put yourself in that position in the first place, but he didn't, and you did, so you have to take responsibility for what you've done. Okay, so you're saying it's kind of shared, a little, like a little bit between. So if like in a, in a, like a case where it goes to court, that, that I wouldn't be solely responsible. That the doctor would have uh, to. I think if it went to court, like Greg said, it wouldn't fly. Oh, I don't but, know. But, but, but I think they would take it into consideration. Mm. They absolutely it would. Flown. It has flown, actually, to use, like, I don't know why I'm saying that. But it, like, it, that has been the case where, where people have been able to defend properly that they've been on a substance and uh, they have not been in control of their actions. Yeah, and probably when it's been actually exploiting and abusing the system, actually, to get off a crime yeah. as well. Um, now it would be shit for the the doctor's reputation. Obviously, the reputation could be uh, could be damaged, but they still aren't going to have the same accountability as yourself for actually laying the hand. I don't know. I mean, I don't know the internet to the laws myself, but uh, well, I just look- like if you forget about the law, just like what what do you think it should be like? Well, I think um, you hit a woman. I think there's going to be some kind of fine or something that's going to go along with it. You know what I mean? Now maybe Deirdre won't press charges. I know. She's left over hands. Right, bitch. Just, just Deirdre's just not nice, Mike. Right? <laughs> we don't she's like not. her. <laughs> <laughs> I hope there's no one on our own called Deirdre. If there is, I apologize. You're Deirdre's a really <laughs> fictional character. That we've she's an avid <laughs> subscriber to the channel and all that. <laughs> I call her Karen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Where, where do we lie? Yeah, I okay, think we are going to have to wrap it up soon. So, like, well, I think to wrap it up, I, I think that there's a dual responsibility. I think that, yes, you have, for the most part, as Emma was saying, which I, I really, really, really detest myself for agreeing with Emma so much in these podcasts. <laughs> but um, I think uh, 
I think there, there is a responsibility that does lie with yourself around your actions. However, I think sometimes when you put your trust into somebody uh, and they abuse that trust, then the responsibility then has to be shared with, the, with, the, with those people. So you're also, sending me to jail, Jeff. Thanks very much. Great. <laughs> was it a punch? Was it a punch, a loaf, or a push? Did she break anything or did she damage a tooth? Like, how, how severe was it? I don't think it matters. The, what matters is that I, I, I really intentionally punched her in that moment. This is semantics, Greg. This is semantics. Greg. Of this is semantics. Of <laughs> semantics. Which was but they're not all taken into consideration. a very now. good doctor that was recommended to me by my good friends here. <laughs> but who was the one who recommended a doctor, actually? That's the person Eric. who said that, that doctor in Plaza Health was brilliant. And to <laughs> <laughs> Can we just take a moment, uh, uh, actually, to uh, to talk about Greg's beautiful yellow jumper there? I mean, like, I got so much grief on Saturday night for wearing the colour yellow, and now he's straight away in it. <laughs> so maybe oh, I'm responsible like for Greg's mocking you. Tonight. Uh, <laughs> I'm just mocking you, rubbing yeah. it in your face. I was just so you're, you're just a source of inspiration, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, don't I know? <laughs> <laughs> Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. Uh, so, Greg, would you send me to jail or? Oh, I'm not jail. No, 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 no. So Community what? service. And a <laughs> Community service. Fine. Okay. That's fine. I'll take. I'll take that. Look, accept that, Emmett. Yeah, but if you fuck up again, you could be in the slammer. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck you. Take responsibility for what you did. <laughs> 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 Well, we're going to leave it there guys uh, thanks for joining me this week for this week's episode don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you next week with another thought experiment wow.